What's up, Poopers? It's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. And in today's video, we're going to go over the top five secret basketball drills with a tennis ball. Let's get started. All right, guys. Well, like I said, in today's video, we're going to go over the top five drills to use a tennis ball when working on your game. Now, before we actually start and do this, I need you to go ahead and click that link that's in the first line of the description. It's going to send you straight to our website. Once you get there, all you have to do is simply enter your email address or your parents if you need to, and we will send you a free workout today straight to that email inbox. Now, why are we working with the tennis ball? Number one, you can work on your ball handling, you can work on your finishing, you can work on your hand-eye coordination with using just this small tennis ball. It's important that you incorporate these drills that you see today in your game if you're trying to become a better basketball player. The first one is a simple drill. It's just going to be toss the ball, dribbling. So what we're going to do, we're going to get in the stationary position, and all you're going to do is pound the basketball, either in your left or right hand. Don't worry, you're going to work on both sides. So as I'm pounding the ball, I want to toss it underhand and snatch overhand. So underhand to overhand, underhand to overhand, over and over. Now what you want to do, you want to do about 10 tosses and catches before you switch sides. So after I've done my 10 catches, I switch hands, Boom, I did the same thing with my left. Boom, and we want to do that for about three to four sets, working on number one, handling the basketball with our eyes up and concentrating on the ball. Because what this is going to allow you to do and what it's going to simulate is that you're looking at the other players on the court. Your eyes are up, you're seeing the game. You might have to make a pass. That's why you're concentrating on that tennis ball while really focusing on handling the basketball. So let's take a look at what this drill looks like in full speed. All right, now we're gonna move on to the next drill, still working on some ball handling so we can work on our hand-eye coordination and our concentration while looking up and handling the basketball. Now what you need, you can do this at home, you can do this in the gym. All you need is something that you can throw that ball up against. Right here, I'm in the gym, so I'm gonna use the wall so I can toss the ball back and forth while having a good target so I know it's gonna bounce back to me. So make sure you throw it against your house. I wouldn't recommend it, your parents may get mad against the garage, against the barn, against the wall. It's probably the best thing that you can use. So what we're gonna do, again, 10 catches on each hand, three sets each side, so you're really maximizing your potential. So I'm gonna come up to my wall. I'm still working on my pound dribbles, and I'm just throwing that ball up against the wall. And I wanna concentrate on catching it while still keeping the same rhythm on my dribble. So if I'm dribbling and I stop and catch, then I'm not doing it correctly. I want to keep that same rhythm the entire time on my dribble because that means I'm concentrated on both things, which is going to make you an even better ball handler. So this is just a simple wall toss. Let's take a look in full speed. All right, well, drill number three, we're going to just do tennis ball dribbling. So now you really got to concentrate and keep that ball in your hand. Again, we're just focusing on pound dribbles, keeping it very basic and simple. So we work on our hand-eye coordination. We work on controlling the ball. And it's going to be a little more difficult because you've got a smaller target. Now, we're going to do 20 pounds on each side, three sets each hand. So again, we just want to keep that pound dribble, try to keep our eyes up. But as you see, you're going to lose the ball, which is fine because it's going to be, it's really going to test your coordination, it's really going to test your control and keeping that ball in your hand. So if you can look up, that's great. If you can't to start off and you really got to focus on it, then do that as well. But the main goal is to try to take that next step and dribble with your eyes up. So again, we really want to focus on 20 pounds on each side, three sets each, and then we're going to be good. So let's take a look at the full speed tennis ball dribbling right now. Now we're going to get a little fancy with it. We're going to work on finishing a layup with a regular ball while throwing up a tennis ball 
and catching it. So this is really gonna take a lot of focus and concentration when you're trying to finish this layup. Now, when we drive to the basket, we're gonna drive. Now when we pick that ball up, we're gonna throw that tennis ball up, take our one, two, and finish. So simultaneously, you should be doing it as when you drive, boom, you throw it up, you catch, you finish. It's tough, it's gonna make you concentrate on your finish because this is gonna simulate that there's a defender coming over to block your shot. All you're worried about is putting the ball in the basket. You're not worried about the shot blocker. So this is a great drill to use to concentrate on catching the tennis ball one and putting the ball in the basket two. So this is just finishing a layup with the tennis ball in full speed. Alright guys, well we've done the basics, we've worked on our ball handling, we've worked on finishing. Now let's have some fun with it. For all you guys out there that are trying to dunk the basketball, perfect way to get started. Grab you a tennis ball, grab you a racquetball, a lacrosse ball, or something that's small like this and try to work on your dunking. So I'm just going to show you a couple of examples of dunks that you can do and try in order to work on dunking the basketball first with the tennis ball. So let's take a look in full speed. All right, well, we've just gone over five drills that you can use with a tennis ball. All great drills. Number one, to work on your ball handling, the basics of it, to get comfortable handling the ball while having some other distraction that's gonna make you focus even more. Finishing at the rim, concentrating on catching that ball and then finishing right at the rim. And then let's have a little fun at the end with a little dunking. Try to work on your dunks. Try to dunk it for the first time with a tennis ball. Now, you don't need a tennis ball. Like I said, you can get a racket ball, a cross ball, Anything small enough that's gonna allow you to bounce it, throw it off the wall, whatever. Now, I told you about the free workout. Don't forget to click the link that's in the description into your email address once you get to our website so we can send you that free workout today so you can get started. Also, hit the subscribe button. Join us, the Think Pro family, as every week we release brand new videos to help you improve your game. That's what we're here for. Click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think and what you wanna see for future videos so we can continue to help you improve your game. So until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put some work in, work with the tennis ball. Trust me, it's going to improve your game just like you would never have thought. So until I see you again next time, get out there, put the work in, get a lot of reps and sets up so you're comfortable with using a tennis ball. And until next time, Hoopers, remember to always keep hooping.